Hello everybody, what we'll do now is look at the next task on your uh, portfolio, which is to create mind maps. If we just recap a little bit, you'll see that I've opened my portfolio from OneDrive. Um, here's the feedback that I got from Miss Dillnut before. What I've now done is read her feedback and gone and done it. So on the next page, you'll see the mind map that I produced um, beforehand. Um, you, of course, will need to do two of these. You have two contexts to work through. I only had the one. Um, so you will need two of these mind maps side by side. And then at the bottom, you need to make a decision. What, which one are you going to focus on? I've decided to focus on sustainable living because that's the only one I did. Uh, you will need to make a choice between the two. I then um, have a little bit of a hint as to what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to look at six hours and concentrate on the reusing part of six hours. Um, don't forget, though, that this is still very vague. I'm not, I'm not saying what the product is that I'm going to make because I, I literally don't know. I don't have an idea yet of the product I'm going to make. I haven't got that far. Um, so when this is all done, time to move on to making a uh, mood board. So I'm going to right click here and go new slide, bring up this blank slide here. Um, I'm actually going to use Google Images. So if I go to Google Images up here, what I will do is type in some keywords, some sort of buzzwords, if you like, about this context, about sustainable living. Your one, of course, will be different. So I'm going to type in single use plastic. You can see I've searched for it already quite a few times. And then it brings up a whole load of images which are um, indicative of single use plastics. I'm going to choose this one, I think. and Sometimes with PowerPoint Online, it can be a bit tricky to get images just simply in and out. So the best way that I've found to do it is to save the image. I'm going to save it to my OneDrive. And uh, I think I will make a new folder, actually, and call it Mood Board Images, like that. Save this in, and I'll call that Single Use Plastics. In there, open and save. So that's now into my OneDrive. I then go back to my portfolio, go insert pictures from OneDrive, and then there's my mood board images that I made a few seconds ago, and there's my single use plastics. That will then put that in. Good, okay. Uh, PowerPoint Online, for some reason, every time you put an image in, it brings up this thing, it's really annoying. Just get rid of that. There we go. So that's my first image. Uh, let's go and find a, another one. So another buzzword might be, um, how about uh, climate change? There we go. So lots of images here. Climate change. What do I, I kind of like that one. That's quite good. Um, some of these images are quite em, um, emotive or, or evocative of feelings. And that's that's OK at this stage. Uh, penguins on a melting iceberg. Um, let's go for let's go for this one, and we can talk about recent events in Australia. So I will save that image, and well, mine's remembered that it's there. So yeah, we'll call that Sydney Fire because that's exactly what it is. Um, and I will go insert pictures, OneDrive. Newport Images and Sydney Fire. Good. OK. Again, that's come up. Get rid of that. Really annoying. Um, I'll do one more. Um, let's go back to climate change. And uh, what should we put in here? We'll put in the six R's. That's something that I'm in fact on. Some of these are a bit, oh, this one looks quite good. Oh, no, that's, that's not the same. Um, go with this one then, I think. There we go. Um, I'm going to save that again. Call that the six bars. And then insert. Moodboard images and six hours. Now you will 
I'm going to do these three. I might put some more on later, but I'll, I'll do these three. You will need to produce a collage like this. Plenty of images, but it's not enough just to put the images in. You need to explain what those images are showing. So I've got three very different images here. So I'll put in a little text box. There we go. So the first one, single use plastics. Oops. Terrible typing. Single use plastics. Lots of products are designed to be used once and thrown away. This creates um, loads of waste that is not biodegradable and therefore not sustainable. Okay. Use that as a caption for that image. This one. Oops, wrong button. Insert text box. Um, climate. Oh, I can't smell. Shame. Climate change. Um, more and more extreme weather events are occurring across the globe. Design can have a role in solving this existential problem there we go okay so this is a little summary each time of the um the uh image and what it is telling you connected to the context what this definitely isn't is a selection of images of different products that exist and that's not what it is it's explaining the context All right then so the Six, oops, six R's. These are a way of um, explaining how we can change our approach to design in a more sustainable way. There we go. Look that. So that actually fits in. There we go. OK, so this would be the start of a mood board. I want to see this page filled up for you guys. Um, some of these problems are what we describe as macro problems. Some of them are micro problems. So this one, this one is possibly solvable um, as a GCSE DT, or at least as something that does better than, than what already exists climate change we are not going to solve um, during your GCSE coursework. We might be able to do something which helps a little tiny bit but we include it because it gives um, more to the context. Six R's is something that's going to influence me in this project quite heavily so I've included it there. I would say minimum of about six images, plenty of words on there as well as um, images though, I spelled biodegradable correctly, there we go. Last thing I'm going to do then of course, you'll see that the product, the portfolio has saved up the top there, so what I'm going to do is press my share button and I'm going to share to uh, this little nux. Get the green tick, that's done, it's sent. She will then give me some feedback later on. Okay, thanks.